Well, here we are once more, rejoined by legendary sniper Lieutenant Carl Fairburn, a man so testicularly tactical that it's not uncommon for his parachute to touch down long before he does. Now, according to my intel, I am here, and I don't really know where here is, but what I do know is that Harry is supposedly here too, and we're going to shoot him in the repeatedly. Hopefully that translates to lots of views. But before that, there's something that I need to take care of. Don't touch my fish and my chips. Uh. Cover blown. <laughs> it was worth it. Now, before all the comments come through asking me if I'm sick, yes, I am actually... I'm dead. But rumor has it that if I'm able to shoot Harry in the ball bag, I may be able to come back to life. So let's start with this sniper right here. And... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. I think we're off to a very good start, Carlos. Now our first order of business is to head to the southeast and find some supplies. Which as far as I know should be located in this building right here. The only problem however is that it is apparently full of bad German men. The good news however is that my game gun is full of bullets for shooting bad German men. Oh, hold on a second. We got a bad dude. Say goodbye to your testes. <laughs> they were meaty, those ones. Can't believe I said that. Anyway, I've actually brought a Walter PPK. I'm going full 007 style up in this his house. All right, he's definitely dead. Why do I look disappointed? Probably because I didn't get to kill him. Anyway, just to make sure. All right, I'm pretty sure he's dead now. You know what? We're going to start again. And this time, we're actually going to be tactically testicle. After all, this here objective requires us to get into the base undetected. So let's try and be a little more stealthy. Now, that gunshot did alert all the people in the vicinity, but I feel like maybe if I stick to these barricades, I can get into the center without them seeing me. Or alternatively, I could just place a mine right here. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Blew up his balls. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I believe the supplies I'm looking for are these ones right here. Okay, we got a whole bunch of explosives. Very nice. We've got a gun over here on the table. A man licker. That's an interesting name for our gun. Let's chuck some suppressed ammo in it. I think I'll also put some suppressed pressed ammo in my Walter PPK. And then we'll deal with this chap right here. Very, very tactically testicle. Now, I can't help but feel like maybe this will provide a good sniper's nest. So, uh, from here, I should be able to pick him off one by one. Yeah, this truly is the ultimate, oh mate, the absolute ultimate sniping spot. Absolutely nobody is safe. And now I am officially inside of Harry's secret underground U-boat base. Very, very tactically testicle. Oh, hold on. Right, well, as you can see, we've certainly got no shortage of soldiers up in here, nor do we have a shortage of red things that we can shoot and sabotage with our gun. And most conveniently, it seems like one of the fail safes is right here, and nobody's guarding it. How unlucky. Aren't you, like, gonna come and investigate? You totally should. Now, it looks like we've got a high-level guard inspecting the corrugated wall, so let's shoot him in the back of the head, then we'll... Shoot that guy through the ear. Oh, crap. That... <laughs> that was an accident. Oh, there he is. You know what? I think maybe we'll just go for the assassinate with melee before blowing your cover. All right, Harry. Hope you're ready for a little bit of good old-fashioned UFC. He'll be seeing... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we'll do this a little bit less like a psychopath and more like a professional assassin. But somebody's coming up here now. Well, I think that's all of them. Anyway, it looks like Harry's down there right now getting the old tour. I feel like I should probably do this while I've got the chance. Here go the of his bodyguard. Oh, both of them. Oh, mate. Yeah, that's right. Freak out, mate. You're getting it next. Perfection. Now, I know that's what we all wanted to see, but please don't stop watching the video now that we've destroyed his only... Oh, the dining hall. Yes, this gives me an idea. Too late? What do you mean too late? I guess we'll have to come back to this one later. Now, apparently, Haz is just on the other side of this wall right here. Probably, yep, he's inspecting the workshop. There he is. Look at him. He's loving it. I might equip my tripwire mine and just place it down like right here. And then we'll run it all the way over to here and we'll just pop... Mate, Carl, put it down, you stupid moron, before we fail everything. All right, there we go. We finally got one down. Now to just lure Harry over here. Harry over here. 
Oh, not, no, no, not this guy. No, stop. Oh, <laughs> oh mate. Wait, hold on a second. It looks like Harry's gone outside to the U-boats. Oh, no, my mistake. He's over there walking by himself now. Maybe he'll decide to take a stroll over this cute little bridge right here. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's horrific. There's no way he's getting past those three. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Why couldn't that have been Harry? Harry, where do you think you're going? Stop it. Right, there's Harry again going through the workshop. And apparently he's coming to take a look at the U-boats, which suits me splendidly. After all, red thing go brr, brr, brr. Come on, Harry, stop to admire this huge boat thingy that you've got. Isn't it great? You know what else is great? This. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> and nailed him. You always were a crushing boar, Adam. Oh, Carl, you with the puns, mate. I'll tell you, crushing boar, hilarious. Now, how about we get him here? A well-placed bullet into a couple of oil drums and shazam! There go the organs of every single person in the vicinity. So I'm going to start again from the beginning and sprint my way straight inside so I have time to sabotage his food before he leaves the mess hall. Now let's just pop a cheeky grenade in the soup. I have a feeling that tonight's meal is gonna blow your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right, so now that that's done, how about we do the one with the ginormous statue that falls on his head when he's given his little speech? Oh, okay, okay, it's happening now. This is perfect. Now let's wait for him to take the podium to make it extra embarrassing. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I guess we're going for this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one being pretty funny. <laughs> nice try. You did. Now, as far as I know, all that's left to do is disable the fail safes, blow the whole place up, and then blow up his U boat while he's trying to escape on it. Right, I'm pretty sure I know what to do. I just gotta shoot down the mine. And then when he goes next to it, I'll shoot the mine itself, and that should do it. Alright, there he goes. You ready, Harry? Wrecked. But I am still not done until I get that bollock in motion. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Did I? Oh. Oh, that was the ultimate. That was the ultimate kill. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> <laughs> that was the elite in Sniper Elite, mate. And now that I've done absolutely everything else and sabotaged the fail safes, it's time to get out of here completely undetected. Like the true tactical testicle that I am. Like this guy. Like, like this guy. Very, very tactically testicle. See you later, suckers. But hey, it's just a normal day on the job for Lieutenant Carl Fairburn.